So it's me, your little boy, K. Samson. I have something special for us today, choosing ones. You know, the main truth is this. No matter how dark the darkness may look like or may be, no matter how heavy rain may, may fall, it will not do what It will not just end up like that. It will not end just like that. One day, it will not just keep you know, falling. That is all I mean. It will still stop. And the sun will still do what come out. And no matter how dark the what the earth may be, or the, how dark, how how thick the darkness may be, light will most surely appear one day. And if prevention, you can see everywhere is you know there is light, the moon is in everything, you know. But if I wait, reach nine o'clock, you can't understand that all this place, ap uh, um, apart from the street lights. Some part will be so dark that I cannot even risk to do or to enter. So, but but like now I can go anywhere because everywhere is what is light. You know what I'm saying? But what am I trying to say is this, choosing? Do you know that everything is going to come in order one day in your life? That is why many of them are jealous. Think about it. There are some people who are who are successful than you, who are richer than you, who are weather than you. Who have it all? They have money, they have good health, and they are living fine. They have, they have peaceful family. They have everything. Have you ever come to ask yourself a question? Why are they still jealous of me? <laughs> let's be real. Let's just let's just have that small conversation. Well, have you come to that point where you come to ask yourself a question? Why is it that these people who have all these things, they are living good life, they have money, they are rich. Why is it that they are still jealous of the fact that I am now struggling little by little. I'm not having it. Not that I have like them. Not that I can compete with them. Because they know that today may be what may be hard. But in time to come, they will be looking up to you. In time to come, better things are ahead of you. They know it. You know, think about it. Some people don't know. But there are some people who have already known by the move of you by your action by your attitudes by what you are doing they know that ah this thing people may englore this thing that this guy is doing this lady is doing but with the move with the doing they actually know that this thing will bring God greatness this thing will amount to for what for uniqueness so that is the main reason why they are jealous of you so much that is the main reason why they are so annoyed <laughs> Many of us will find it what funny, but the main truth is this: there are people who have it all, but yet they are still jealous of you, whether you like it or not. There are people who are successful, who are wealthy, who have money, they have everything it takes to live good life, but they will still be jealous. Think about it. Even your own master, there are some masters you will be working with. Many of them will be jealous. Let me tell you something. There is one master that you know we visited. One day, you know, we were just working with this man. So the next thing we, you know, we hear from this man, the man was just like telling us, all this money that I'm not giving you people, you people are working, where are you people keeping it? Even in my former place, there is a man that I work with then. So in restaurant, though this man, after paying me money like one month, so this man was like, Sasa, all this money that I pay you now, where do you keep it? No, I tell him, no, 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 I, I, you know, I, I don't use it. I just throw them out, you know? I don't need it. I throw it, you know. I, I, I dash it out because I don't have what people to do or to spend it on. So this man was just looking at me. Because there are some people who have everything, but they are still jealous of you. <laughs> but sometimes you may not know the reason why they are jealous. You may not know the secret behind that jealousy. Because many of them have fully figured out where you are going to be, the kind of dream, the kind of purpose, the kind of mission you are going to accomplish. They know it all. So it pees them off. That's why the Bible says the little beginning may be small, but the latter end. They know that now your little beginning is small, but they know that in time to come, your latter end will overshadow their own. 
They know that you, your latter end. That is why when the brothers of Joseph figure out, the, you know, there's something that people will not tell you about Joseph. Not because the brothers of Joseph, not because they hate their dream. It's because they know that in time to come, Joseph will no longer sit with them. <laughs> They know that in time to come, with that dream that Joseph has narrated to them, they know that in time to come, they will be the one that will be seeking for Joseph. Joseph will no longer seek for them. They will know that in time to come, they will be the one that will be looking up to Joseph. Joseph will not look up to them. They know that in time to come, they will be the one that will be bowed down to Joseph. Joseph will no longer call them senior. <laughs> Because grace catapults, grace don't de demolish, grace don't destroy, it catapults. <laughs> now, so many of us will be like, hey, why is it that everybody now, everybody is talking bad of me, everybody is hating me, despite of the fact that I am struggling, despite of the fact that things are not working what perfectly, I'm, I'm just trying my best to be able to pay my bill. I'm just working on myself to be able to be myself. I, I, I'm not troubling nobody. I'm not a troublesome. But why is it that they still hate me? Because they don't hate you. They hate the glory in you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So remember, bless me. God bless 